This is a really quick update to the review for the BTL Gretcher that I put out yesterday. The great news is that BTL and Thumper, who I referenced in the video, heard the feedback and less than 24 hours later, we have the unofficial community site for sharing releases of the firmware and the software to make it more accessible to Western consumers who can't access it through Taobao and WeChat where the files are originally distributed. So in your address bar, you want to type btlgretcher.com, all one word, and this is where you'll end up. There's some information here thanking BTL for pulling together the site and the mouse. What's great to see is that there is a where to buy section covering not just the Eastern stores, but the Western stores or international stores as to where you can source the mouse. So great shout out for Nacho and Addis here in addition to iTac and X-Ray. Moving into the download section, you've got the latest release of the mouse software, which includes the hibernation on off switch, which I know is something that bothered a lot of people in addition to the latest firmware and any receiver firmware releases as we go. There's also a gallery section now, midway down the page, which shows all the released variants of the mouse, including, I don't know if we call it snot green, but certainly lime green uh, variant. And I was actually so interested in knowing whether or not the quality of the mouse has improved in the past six months from when I initially bought my two copies, that I went on to Taobao and decided to purchase a copy of the fluorescent green mouse for 429 yuan which should be with me in about three to four weeks. So I'm looking forward to doing a comparison video for yourselves to see how it stacks up against the batch one and batch two copies. The site also has a couple of very short video guides to show you how to repair your mouse with the dongle and receiver. Sometimes during firmware and software updates, the mouse can require resynchronization. I know a lot of people have thought their mouse needed to be RMA'd. This is a great way to resync it if you didn't know how. And secondly, the firmware update, so how to do it correctly without damaging your mouse or PCB. Lastly, there's an FAQ section, which is pretty light on the ground, but I was asked to call out this one sentence here to say, if you do use any of this software or firmware, it doesn't transfer your warranty from your original purchaser. So if there are any issues with the mouse, please go back to the store that you bought it from. Just want to shout out Thumper99 for acting so quickly on behalf of BTL and putting this site together. And again, thanks for shouting me out there. I really appreciate it. And it was really great to see that from the video that I put out, it quickly raised attention and you were able to turn around a resolution to some feedback within 24 hours. So props to yourselves. I hope this information helps. Share it if you have any friends who have the BTL Gretcher and want to keep up to date with firmware and software. And I'll be sharing it with Nacho, Addis, iTac and X-Ray Pad so that we can all be directed to this one site rather than various G drives throughout the net. That's all for today and I hope this is helpful. Thanks.